Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Deep Rock Galactic. Today, we're just doing a nice and chill Has 5 without Bosco. Hopefully I'm going to be doing better than in the previous episode, but in the previous episode I was doing the Doretto quest, which, I mean, is kind of really difficult. At least for a scout. I'm sure if I had played like Engineer or something, I could have done it pretty easily, actually. Because I could have just like set up some turrets and stuff. No! Fuck off! Oh my god! Whoa! Okay. No! What the fuck? Jesus Christ! Oh, get out of here! Oh my god! No! Fuck! Jesus! Oh! Okay. We're safe. Okay, maybe not a chill. <laughs> maybe not a chill has five. That was the most insane fucking cave entrance I've ever been in yet. I'm like still fucked to this moment. I need to find some red sugar or something. Oh, where is that guy? Oh, it, are you joking? It instantly put the shield up. There he is. I'm so glad that spitter didn't fucking dome me from the back. That would have been awful. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, that's not a sniper turret, that's a patrol bot. Uh, oh no. Okay, I think I'm, I'm recovering. I'm recovering HP. Uh, how close am I? I'm zero, I'm zero nitro. No, you don't. Oh my god. It almost got my ass. That explosion. I need a, uh, well I just need a uh, 43 nitro. And then I'll be able to get a supply pod, and with the supply pod I'll be able to recover my HP. I could go for that, uh, red sugar. That would probably be better. Oh, there was a sniper turret. Okay. I thought that was just a, uh, thingy. Uh, you know, that patrol bot, because sometimes they do the line as well. We've got 28 Nitra in the tank. There's a humongous ass wave of dudes. Uh, I think I'm going to try my luck finding Nitra over here. Because I'm sure if I go deep enough into the cave, I'll be able to find it. And that'll give me some distance between me and the dudes. Plus, I'll be able to use these uh, thingies. Right, come on, blaster turret. Uh, okay, the uh, red sugar. Grabbing the nitros over there. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to can play like crazy. Don't, don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! Okay. <laughs> nice try, motherfucker. How's my ammo situation? I definitely could use ammo as well. So that's another reason why I need to do this. Alright, how much do I need? I need 24. Or, well, a little bit less. I think just 14. Yes. Well, I got 24. Either way, hilariously enough. Alright. Okay, I wanted to <laughs> discuss topics. Oh, I'm a little bit mind flooded. I think I'm, I'm calming down, though. Now I've, like, survived off the skin of my teeth. I'm just gonna, like, awkwardly transition. So, there is... Wow, I'm right under the thing. Let's actually go. There's this internet discourse, uh, which has been going on lately. 
which uh, is clearly and obviously designed to just like infuriate people. And of course, I uh, have been infuriated by it. Oh, I thought I thought I fell there. And so now I'm gonna share a small amount of the fury with you. Or well, you know, if if you get mad or not, it's up to you. I'm probably gonna talk about it in a very like neutral way. But there's this fucking like internet trend that's going on right now where uh, it's like this video where someone's like doing a street interview where uh, they're just like asking random like uh, women on the street or whatever uh, who would who would you rather be stuck out in the forest with right like a random man or a random bear right or just like I guess the average bear. That's an expression, the average bear. That's funny. Didn't think about that. And, you know, obviously they, like, all... The, the majority of them pick the bear, right? Which is annoying to me, but probably would have just been, like, a random video. If not for the fact that, like, people are actually, like, justifying and, like, agreeing with it. Like, the most, like condescending and obnoxious way possible it's like oh you have to understand that like stuff's gotten so bad that people are picking the bear now it's like no it hasn't i've just been like rage feeling i'm <laughs> bad for like the past half hour i probably shouldn't look it's it's like a it's algorithms man it's like a guilty pleasure or i guess a guilty pain uh more accurately just like uh, watching stuff that makes you angry, but I fell for it. I'm sure that I'm sure that was like their intention as well. I don't get how people can like openly defend it though. That's that's the part that pisses me off because like it's basically just like openly being bigoted, and I don't know. I I don't like the double standards and shit. I feel like it should all just be. You no, know, it's either 100% it's okay or 100% it's not. Like, the, the selective, like, it's okay to be, like, sexist sometimes is just, like, completely obnoxious to me. No, because, uh, you know, if you... People would not be as open with their, like, uh... With their... With their opinions if, if it was, like, a different flavor. You know, if it was, like... Would you rather be alone in the woods with a bear or a black man? Like, <laughs> no one would fucking... No one would go the bear. They'd be too scared. They just fucking walk away from their quarter. Be like, this is a trap. You are trying to trick me into getting canceled, good sir. Yep. That's just the start and stop of it. Now you too have the terrible burden of the knowledge of this internet trend. Oh my god, that's so perfect. They just like all walked into the explosion there. Let's actually go. There's a there's like another discourse that I heard about that apparently like went on like a few years ago or a number of years ago, but um, ballot of favor which was basically like the same thing. It was like, ooh, ten percent of these M and M's are poisoned. Would you rather? Or would you eat from the M and M bowl? And you know the obvious like allegory is like talking about just like women going their own way like not even dating a single man with some of them rape or whatever oh my god am i fucking dying i think i might be dying steve oh god. that was very risky i might have died for that steve i just need to wait a little bit regenerate oh why are they coming from behind me no oof my shotgun was not loaded I need to go get... I need to go get ammo. I need to go get HP. Actually, never mind. I'm full on shields. I'm golden now. No! What are these guys doing? Predator drones? Are you serious? Okay, the shotgun is surprisingly not good against these guys. I kind of thought the damage wave would fuckify them to a savage degree. No, it's not the case. Just gonna plop another slowing field. And boom. Awesome. And that is 
the wave of bugs done. I guess I'll go get some red sugar. I'm pretty sure we're cave leached out. I don't think there's any cave leeches here. I'm gonna have to actually manually mine these freaking eggs as well. I normally send like Bosco to do it, but I have not brought Bosco. And uh, that's very terrible for this one scenario. Also, you know, <laughs> almost died twice. It's also terrible. Fuck, I wanna like shotgun that Praetorian, but it's just gonna like destroy my Steve with that little explodey boy over there. So I'm just gonna manually kill the, these guys. Lovely. Where's the next two eggs? Alright, there's one below me and there's one up there. It's also some Phaseonite, which I'm definitely going to want to mine, because there may or may not be new cosmetics whenever uh, Season 5 drops. I don't remember quite when Season 5 drops. Th they released a like general timeline, I'm pretty sure, lately, with their like update preview thingy that they had. Please notice one. Thank you. You're too t kind, game. I'm hearing a lot of bugs spawn, but that's doable. Get roasted. But the exploder didn't go off. I'm right, gonna help Steve out with the oppressor now. Steve got fucking chewed up and spit out. Spit out. It's genuinely terrible. Feels bad for Steve. I would rather. Uh, be out in the woods with Steve than a bear, by the way. So that I'd make my position on that now. Alright, we're on the right track. If we go through this tunnel, we will find the last egg. I just need to pop it. And get the mule coming on over. I'm not gonna go for the side quest. I don't really like going for the side quest now that I've got like all the money and XP I could ever want. Or need. Um Okay, the mule's going this way. I really probably should have waited for Molly, but it be would be. Luckily, we did not get a swarm. I mean, if I got a swarm, I think I would have been able to call Molly before the swarm started. So maybe a swarm would have been better. Alright, get shotgunned. Wonderful. It's not going to be too long of a mule trip, so I'm not going to even bother like trying to pre-lead Molly to the drop pod. Uh, I don't remember quite how to get into this chamber. Oh, it's uh, up here. Yeah, this is part of the reason why I got so fucked. This damn entrance. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't actually use my iron will, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh my god, I thought it was going to miss me because it like redirected its laser for a sec. It snake eyes me. What the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, this is a pretty good mission. Did pretty well. All things considered. I feel like I recovered super hard. If I went down once, I 100% would have just like went down a second time. Like immediately after the first time. It's just how those things go. Was not the case though. Okay, we killed 184 bugs. That's pretty good. Pretty good amount of bugs killed. All things considered. Definitely could have been... Could have been more. I could have popped some more eggs. Pumped those numbers up to the full 200. What's this next mission? Ooh, a mining mission. If it's not too long, I might be able to squeeze it into this video. 225, medium length. It's kind of long-ish, but it's not too long. Mining missions usually are like less complicated layouts as well. So we still don't have Bosco do the mining for us. I'm pretty sure I can get away with going for just like one resupply. So I'm not going to even bother looking for the first cave nitro. Just kind of employing the, uh, the digging. The digging technology where you cancel the animation canceling digging. So why not? I'm gonna really need to be on the lookout for Steve. 
You know, while we're on the subject of discourses, there's another discourse that is much less political, but always confused me. That's like a dwarf strength discourse. People act like dwarves have like the same strength as an orangutan. I don't get it. Like I get that dwarves are stronger, but I've I've like literally seen internet arguments where people are like, no, a dwarf could rip your face off. Like, I'm pretty sure the reason there's, like, monkeys who can, like, rip human faces off. Uh, it's just because they have, like, a weird, like, ligament or, like, tendon or something that allows them to curl their arm with their friggin' chest muscles, too. It's, like, some sort of evolution thing to do. I, I don't think dwarves have that. I, I, you know what it actually is? I'm, I'm remembering more. It's like, uh, it's like people arguing, like, seriously that, uh, dwarves are, like, peak fighting form, that they'd be able to beat, like, anyone. They'd be able to beat humans because of these, like, <laughs> you know, like, meme muscles. Uh, because, you know, obviously the, the other argument that people would make is that, like, dwarves st suck at fighting, actually, secretly, because they're, like, they're shorter, they're slower, and, you know, because they're shorter, they have less reach, right? Which is reasonable, you know? Like, if you're fighting someone taller, they will just, like, fuck your ass up completely. Kind of. Unless you're, like, more skilled than them or whatever. Uh, partially because, like, tall taller people just have, like, more, like, room for muscles, I'm pretty sure. Probably gonna weigh more, like, more body mass in general. Unless you're, like, you know, yoked or fat. But part of it is, like, the reach thing. Like a, you know, a six foot tall person versus a five foot tall person. They're going to be able to just, like, punch you and stay completely out of your reach. Because they've got, like, a good six inches of arm per arm. I think that's how the math works. Like, I'm pretty sure uh, your wingspan is literally the same as your height. At least that's always the, like, rule of thumb I've heard. So, you know, if you're one foot taller, that means six inches per arm. Also, your friggin' length between your, like, wrist and elbow is the same as your foot, apparently. Which is something that I've, like, vaguely, I vaguely remember confirming and being like, dude, that's fucked up. It seems like it shouldn't link up, but it does. I guess it's just one of those, like, DNA things. Yeah, so people people act like the dwarves have the monkey the monkey arms to absolutely tear everything up. I feel like dwarves would be pretty pretty nightmarish to actually fight, not because of their like strengths, because I'm pretty sure if it, if it were like an open field and you've got like human halberders versus like dwarves wielding, I don't know like halberds or axes or whatever, like the the. The human halberders are going to, like, hit the dwarves first, right? And they'll be able to, like, outmaneuver them and shit. I just, I just think it's probably, it probably would be one-sided. But fighting a dwarf inside a dwarven fortress, now that would be a real motherfucker. Because they basically just, like, live in bunkers as opposed to towns. And there's, like, no fucking way. You just have to, like, siege it, basically. Is this the same chamber? I don't know if this is the same chamber I was just in. I think it might be. Nice try. I wasn't even really blocking all that well. Or dodging, I should say. What's my nitro at? Fuck, I need. I need to mine a little bit. Okay. Okay, I kind of just took that one to the chip. Just gonna call a resupply right now. I see my Steve. Just gonna grab him now. Amazing. Uh, get out of here. Boom. Get instantly destroyed. Healed. Bash. Oh, I thought I fucking died to my own thing. I should have the ammo to deal with this wave. Yeah. I know I was gonna go for resupply, but clearly I do not need it. I did the, the super attack on the guy. I'm trying to think, what other traits do Dwarven Fortresses have? 
or subterranean there's just like the one entrance they have traps dwarves also have like big ass heavy ass crossbows that they just like fuck shit up with I feel like a dwarf would be a pretty decent archer actually theoretically speaking if they've got like better than human upper body strength uh, then they they could probably like pull back the bow pretty good like strength actually like super is important for archery so that'd be interesting I heard that orcs would be like crazy archers and fuck elves up as well just to go through like unpopular fantasy opinions because they are like they're like taller than humans so their bow can be bigger and they're like all jacked and they also have the thing where they're like good in the forest obviously to like a lesser degree I guess elves have the dude did Steve just kill a cave leech let's actually go elves do have the like unnatural grace or whatever so I bet an uh, elf could be an orc in a sword fight maybe unless the orc had like full plate mail or something I feel like orc and full plate mail would be like a real real motherfucker to deal with because they'd be immune to arrows, pretty much, and, like, dexterity probably doesn't really play a role if you have, like, shielded joints, right? So the orc is just gonna, like, run up on you, you will like, slash at their armor, it does nothing, and then it uses his great axe or whatever. Are great axes real? Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> I know battle axes are real. I don't know if, like, the big crazy great axes are real. I feel like a, a orc with the halberd would be a little bit too second edition y, though. So I don't really want to picture that. That'd be a really silly, like, orc charge as well. Just them all running with, like, big unwieldy pull-arms. Um. Hmm. Oh, uh, there's compacted earth, I think. I'm gonna need to check the map. I think I'm full on ammo. Yeah, this is a compacted earth over here. So this is the way to go. Oh man, I don't know who I would pick. Like, a orc or a fucking bear in the forest. I feel like that one would be actually like a close one. So orc definitely would kill you, for sure. Actually, I probably would have the same amount of chances at beating a, a orc as like a bear, to be honest. Unless it's just like a like a orc has been fucking sitting on his ass all day. Like PC games have been introduced to orc culture, and they've like subverted them from within. You know, they've demoralized them. Yeah, I could probably fight one of those orcs. Be like a skinny, fat, tall dude. Oh man, that's a lot of bugs. Shotgun, activate. Very cool. You know, on the subject of orcs, I have recently been getting in my like recommended get out of here uh vtubers like very tiny vtubers who want re like react to warhammer content and that's been like interesting i don't really watch much youtube i'm always like curious about vtuber content because uh, most of it seems like it's awful, but it's like such a big cultural thing. I'm always just like a little bit curious about it. You know, everyone's like, I'm, I guess I must be like very susceptible to like peer pressure. Like the bandwagon effect is like just in full force. But yeah, I watched a little bit of it. It was okay. Watched the person play. I think it was, um,. God, I forget the name. There's like this fucking Warhammer game that's like a Doom clone, kind of, but with Warhammer. It looks pretty neat, actually. I mean, I mean clone in like a non-bad way. 
but like it has like all the same like things. So like you have like the jailing guns. No, 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 no. There's levels with secrets. The dudes are just like fucking flat JPEGs that are animated. So I guess just flat GIFs running at you. Like projectiles and shit. I'm, I'm a pretty, I, I'm, I like the old like retro clone stuff. I don't think it's bad. It's like a subgenre. I haven't really like played all that much of it. I used to play Doom as I uh, when I was a kid. And I think I tried doing the level editor for it. But I never actually like managed to successfully make a level, I think. So I, I vaguely recall like I was able to like test the level in the program, but not get it working in the Doom. But I was like, I don't know, like less than ten years old. So Fuck, I hear a bunch of trilling. Oh, I think it's just this one sting tail. Get, get fucked. I was gonna say get raped, but that's a little bit... It's a little bit, uh, too graphic. Dude, I just I just hit that guy from the side. Uh, I forget what the, the thing is. You know the phrase for, like, when you, like, strafe someone with a, like, boat? I just did that. Just unloaded all my cannons into... That poor sting tail. Uh, okay, there's red sugar. I was a little bit concerned because I don't have the nitra to call resupply. So I was like, ooh, if I die, I will not be able to recuperate. But clearly, uh, there's some red sugar, so that is not true. I'll be able to heal myself off that. The last stand. I can't believe I actually got that guy while webbed and jumping. Oh, I need a new Steve. I completely forgot. I forgot about my Steve perk. Okay, the Praetorian kind of fucked me up greatly. I get roasted, toasted. Uh, I might actually be going down here. Oof, okay. Okay, there's two packs of red sugar. I'm just gonna grab up a little bit of it right now. Dude, that was very good. I feel like such a skilled skilled player. I fucking leaped off the ledge and then let the steam vent cushion my fall. I uh, definitely don't want the exploders to explode on me. Cool. Dude, I can't imagine doing true solo and not being the scout. I feel like the just ability to like infinitely kite away is just so important to my survivability. All right, I think we're kosher. I need to find some more nitro or else I'm gonna be kind of screwed if another swarm comes. Uh, I thought I only half got the vein. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, I got more than half of it. Okay, 22 mark. Uh, I guess I could just go home. Oh, here's some nitro. Uh, that's bad. Oh. Well, that's enough nitro for me. That's pretty horrendous, but whatever. <laughs> oh, uh, I need to I'll get a uh, Steve not underneath this. Here we go. Lovely. Morkite quota met. Nitro quota also met. Boom, resupply one. And boom, resupply two. We're golden. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't notice that guy early because this fucking thing is glowing. This guy over here. The power cube. Okay, I was going to grab it, but I will not. I'll just leave it free out here. Are they ever going to add, like, a reason to pick up those things? I'm going to be kicking myself if there's, like, super perks or something unlockable with it. 
I feel like that'd be the most like logical thing to do, but it'd also be really annoying if, uh, you know, you wanted a perk really badly and it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to do 100 missions and maybe I'll get zero power cubes. Okay, so we go this way. <laughs> Dude, another oppressor. It's kind of silly. Oh well, oppressor 2 down. Steve, you can thank me later. I'm back on the drop pod. Parentheses, I don't mean anything weird by that. And there's a lot of explosives here. Just gonna let this guy yoink me. I think I destroyed it in a single salvo from my uh, starboard mast. By mast, I mean side of my boat. Here's the guy. Here's the drop pod. Now we just wait for, uh... <laughs> wait for the mule. Dude, the super double shotgun is kind of worth it just for its ability to fucking annihilate Stingtails. Holy shit. I feel like the vast majority of the Stingtails this mission just got, like, eviscerated. Uh, oh, man. Gotta go the other way around. Rude. Alright, let's wait for those guys to explode. I thought I heard a Goopinator. Come up. You're getting fucking shotgunified. Uh, I need to actually get in the ship. If I go down, I'm not gonna be able to pick myself back up. There we go. Another mission where I didn't even go down once. Without Bosco, let's actually go. That was very good. Very good series of missions. I'm Poggin. Mission status completed. I'm guessing it's going to be 230 bugs. We killed a lot of bugs this mission. It's 151 bugs. Okay. Not quite as many as even the previous mission. But even still. We got ourselves up to 100 level 64. Uh, level 164. Okay, I kind of had a loading error with those words there. Gonna have so much money. How many uh, how many juices do I have? I haven't really been picking up the credits because it's like so little. So three, four, five. Okay, I leveled up five times since last I checked. All right, well that is gonna do it for me for today. So I will say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Deep Rock Galactic. Goodbye!